happen like that? Hit this area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. I'm catching it, etching it, sketching it, stretching it. I'll pour a little gas up on the bed and then I'm revving it. This is excellent. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification game, RiceGameClothing.com. For the merchandise, you heard me right. Etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. I hope everybody's doing well on their day, prospectively. So, you got Jack Boy Maine. Jack Boy Maine, the notorious, infamous. Jack Boy Maine pulls up a surprising upset victory over T Top in the Ultimate Madness 3 tournament. Um, there's a couple subjects I'm going to talk about in this blog, but I will start off with none other than Richmond's own bad guy. You know, comes into battle rap, uh, has a quick buzz, you know, gets on some stages, starts making a lot of traction and a lot of noise. Uh, battled Young Cannon, got beat by Young Cannon, started to make a name for himself again. Earned a battle with the late Tech 9 that did not happen. Then that eventually turned into John John the Don. Take some time. We're, gonna, we're, we're chilling together today. You know what I'm saying? So, um, earns a battle with John John the Don on Gnome. We know how that battle went. Uh, John John the Don kind of cleared Jack Boy Maine up, got him out of here. People thought that we would never see or hear from Jack Boy Maine ever again. He did go on to have a bunch of other battles on small circuits and then he came back in the band setting, but he never really got back to where he was pre um, the John John and Don battle. You know, he was in with the Goonies, it was, supposed to, it was a crew of MCs, these guys were supposed to be the new wave in battle rap, led by none other than New Jersey Twerk. But unfortunately, New Jersey Twerk was not a leader himself, so he couldn't lead a crew if he's not a leader himself. You know, he still got things that he's working on in his own personal life, so then the crew disbanded, and there you have Jack Boy. So Ultimate Madness 3 comes up, a bunch of names are released. Jack Boy Main was announced. A lot of people were not feeling that. You know, it was a lot of dismay. Jack Boy Main shouldn't be here. What is he doing here? And it was even heard that he was allegedly, allegedly, going to be removed. He made the video kicking the trash cans, you know, um, basically upset. Then the, the announcements came out. Battle got booked, and it's Jack Boy Man versus T Top. So you got Battle Raps Bad Guy versus none other than T Top. A tournament winner, a top tier MC, pretty much a clear favorite. A lot of people are like, what? What is Jack Boy going to do against T Top other than get body bags? And I will say this I did watch the battle again today. Uh, you know, don't. They got apps for that. They got apps for that. Um, I did watch it again today. And. Yesterday I had Jack Boy Main winning 2-1. Today I have Jack Boy Main winning 2-1 again. Um, it was Jack Boy Main's single-handed best performance that he's ever had. Ever. He saved his best performance for his most critical moment because this level, this stage, this height, caffeine, the whole world's watching, you know, NFL players is watching as fans, NBA play. All these people that are fans are watching you and trying to see what you're going to do. And Jack Boy, man, who went first. When he went first, I was like, oh, man, you're going first against T-Top. T-Top is going to wow on you. He's going to have angles. He's going to have bars. He's going to have punches. He's going to have a good cadence. And I just knew that everything that T-Top brings, especially going second, was going to be a lot. And I ain't know if Jack Boy, man, man, this mother. Started pulling from Curry range. He started bombing, shooting from the logo. Jack Boy Main was shooting from the logo. Uh, first round, I felt like, and I feel like, um, T Top got that. Matter of fact, hold on. He's pulling from the logo. I'm telling you, like Jack, his first round, he had the line about the uh, the Coca Cola. The flame on the top, he he, like he does these things that a lot of people are not able to do. Uh, T-Top's first round, he had to spin back on Jack like a rotary phone. You drop the ball to pick up the pieces. You playing Jack Jack. Uh, your first time to the motherland is when Caffeine booked your flight. Uh, even had a hot line for Jack like Pretty Ricky. All you see is Jack and knees. Now you speak in my language. T-Top was in his bag the first round. 
T-Top was in his bag the first round, but for me, just for me, the bad guy started to elevate after the first round. Uh, he was His first round was not bad, but he had the George Clinton, it's the dog in me. He said, uh, the Ficky Ficky, I get busy on the ones and twos. Uh, I'm better, I'm the better choice. I can't top that. Uh, Jack Boy Man was rapping, rapping in the second round. He was rapping, rapping. T-Top second round, he had some shit too. Uh, don't be a menace because your son grew up faster than you. Talking about Lou Castro. Uh, I made my point in the snow like Adam Vinatieri. You know, Adam Vinatieri with the famous field goal in the snow. Uh, he won't be ne back next Friday. Chris Tucker. Uh, he said the slug, clap, plug Jack like an Ethernet cord. Um, I felt like Jack got the second. And the third round to me was the most critical, crucial round. And uh, Jack went fucking crazy. <sighs> I'm busy, not now. Uh, he had the being, uh, he had the lump, trunk, dump, front. All it means is getting swamped. <sighs> Come on, son. Come on, son. Y'all wild and be. Y'all wild and be. And then the, the most critical, crucial, critical series of bars was when he was talking about the, the horns on the bitch, Maleficent. I know a lot. I know. I know y'all. a lot of y'all probably didn't see that Angela Jolie movie with the devil horns, Maleficent. Then he flipped it and used another movie scheme. Pour a little gas on the bear. Then I'm revving it. Y'all ain't see The Revenant in 2015. That's why y'all don't be knowing. The Revenant with Leonardo DiCaprio with the bears in the woods. That's why y'all don't be knowing, son. But this is why I'm one of them ones when it comes to doing this. Because I, I caught all that. I caught all that. The bear and I'm Revenant. T-Top wasn't rapping. Jack, when would you stop rapping like that? Jack, boy, when you stop rapping? When you stop rapping like that? The bad guy won all four judges' votes and the caffeine poll. The bad guy. The bad guy won all four judges' votes and the caffeine vote. The bad guy. He's not supposed to win the caffeine poll. He's not even supposed to win all four judges' votes. He got, T-Top got 50, dog. Say what you want. All four judges and the caffeine pole. If, if T-Top really won, I could see if a judge or two gave it to one person, then another judge gave it to another person in the pole. Jack got all that. You got to give him that. You got to give him that. Now, he does have Cortez next. Cortez was a very big winner versus official. He 30 official. He made her look very minuscule. Jack Boy Main prepared for um, T-Top. That was about, he got, probably had about a month to prep time. You're not getting a month prep time for Cortez. Cortez is really out to show people what it really is, and this one could get kind of crazy, I'm not going to lie. Um, but what I will say is, if Jack Boy Man can make a lot of traction in this battle, first of all, he's three battles away from 100 grand. Let's just say it like that, and that's a lot closer than damn near anybody else who's watching this is, is closer to 100 grand. But if Jack Boy Man, and he had a black wolf sweater on too, I think if Jack Boy Man could win the tournament, he'll be back on known. he gonna buy a, a, the real Black Wolf chain, and then the circle of life will be complete. But to say that I'm surprised, I'm not. Because when the tournament was first announced, I did tweet, I kept the file, that uh, I said this, you know what I'm saying? I said, uh, peep the science. Jack Boy Maine, 59 hours. 100 minus 59 equals 41. 41 minus 30, Jack got 30 on Gnome. 11 minus 10, there was 11 other Goonies. Jack is the one. He will win ultimate badness. It was written. I don't know, man. I just predicted, I don't know. Vajradamus, man. That was my um, future prediction. Um, but I definitely had to make this blog because I, one, have liked... Jack Boy Maine, when he first came in, I was very critical in his down times. And I feel like if you're critical on somebody when they're losing, you definitely have to acknowledge the fact that he did his thing. That was probably the biggest upset. Now, I know that, you know, that I, I feel like, I'm just going to be honest with you, I feel like the tournament was set up for Twerk to win. I feel like when they put that $100,000 up, that $100,000 was supposed to be a layup 
for New Jersey Twerk. It was supposed to be a layup. His first opponent was prepped, then they switched it. And there was no real reason why the opponent got switched besides wanting to give him a layup versus a Casey J. That's all, that's it. That's just my personal opinion. You know what I'm saying? I ain't here to bash nobody or tear nobody down. That's not what I'm here to do. I'm just here to call like I call it so I can't call it. I know the truth sounds like hate to niggas who hate the truth, but this is the proof. I feel like it was supposed to be a layup for New Jersey twerk. And he didn't, he obviously dropped the ball, choked all three rounds. He said he was hyperventilating. He didn't want to, he didn't want to do this shit. But now, you know, and I'm not trying to like hate or shit. I'm really not. I'm just calling it like it is. I think that they need to really, really look at what they're doing. Because you're putting him in a position where you know he's not going to deliver. Like, there's nobody who had any kind of real, realistic perspective that thought that he was going to deliver. I didn't think Twerk was going to deliver in this. Like, and I'm not even mad. How can I be mad? That's like if I invite my uncle to my house and I know he's stealing and then something gets stolen. How can I be mad when I already know his jacket? I already know that he's not going to be prepared. I already know that he writes last minute. I already know that he don't have that he don't be having material. You might get flashes in the pan every now and then, but overall, you know, at, like I said what I told earlier, it either is or it ain't, you know? And then the guys are on a judging panel, they're like they're like hey, well if I just wish we could do it again. You just wish we could do it again. Do what again? Do what again? He's the I heard was I forgot who I just wish we could do this again. Do what again? What are you gonna do again? Like, are you crazy? What are you doing again? There's nothing to do again. And you know, people ask me about judging. I've been asked to judge different things and different, but I say no, because this is me. Like, I'm gonna call it like this. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna make no friends. So I don't wanna never judge nothing. I'll never volunteer. I don't wanna judge nothing. I like to talk my shit, make my paper, and take care of my family this way. I don't like to be involved with the politics and all of that, and I'm never gonna be. But you can't sit there and say, well, oh, if it was like this, y'all wasn't even giving Casey J props for winning. It was more so about, oh, if he would have been, oh, 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 if it would have been like this. Oh, if it would have been like that. Bro, what? Like, y'all got to stop that, fam. Like, y'all y'all, y'all definitely have to stop. He's shown he's consistently inconsistent. He's had battles where he's done his thing, but no hate. Like, I don't hate the man. He's one of, when, when, when he's doing his numbers, he's one of the favorites. He does his thing. But this right here? Can't get jiggy with that shit, bro. For a hundred thou, if a hundred thou can't motivate you, tell me what can. If you cannot use a hundred thousand, then tell me who can. Jack Boy Man came out there and rapped like he knew a hundred thousand dollars was on the line. Cortez came out there and rapped like he knew a hundred thousand dollars was on the line. Swamp came out there and rapped like he knew a hundred thousand was on the line. Sirius Jones came out there and rapped like he knew a hundred thousand was on the line. You can't come up there choking and stumbling and oh, 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 my, my mouth is dry. Oh. Oh, oh, I, I bet it was. Niggas up there getting their fucking boots smoked off of them. But at the end of the day, you got to put the onus on the league. They the ones putting people out there knowing that, you, you know, like, and the last thing I'm going to say about it is when Twerk started his round, he said, uh, Sue Surf said at the face off that it's the if when a nigga start they rounds like that, he just wrote that shit. Sue Surf said at the face off last night, last night, this nigga's rapping about last night. Why are you rapping like that? He's rapping about last night. What? For a hundred grand, he said Sue Surf said at the face off last night, my nigga. Did nigga <laughs> Oh shit yo Salute to every single one of y'all who watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. We just passed 70,000 subscribers. I'd like to give a big shout out to my man Showtime SP, uh, my family, and everybody else. But dog, he said at the fam last night, last night, last night, couldn't even get last night. He said at the fit for a hundred grand. Oh my God! Cut my camera.